Hey guys, and welcome to our chapter two for the data structures and algorithm. So for this chapter, we will be discussing about the basic concepts of the data structure. Okay, so let's move forward to, okay. So for our class objectives, we will be defining what it's a data is all about. What is a data object? What are the data types? What are the different categories of the data types we have this built in and derive and also what are the different basic operations of uh, when it comes to data structure okay so let's move on to the data definition so when we say data definition it defines a data it defines a particular data with the following characteristic so it's very important that you should know what a data is all about okay it should be atomic okay when we say atomic it should be defined in a single concept again atomic your data should be defined in a single concept and it should also be traceable when we say traceable it should be mapped to some data element and your data should be accurate it should not, it should be unambiguous dapat mas mas madali siyang maunawaan mas dali siyang masabdan no and uh, clear and concise so when it comes to creating uh, you know when it comes to data structures and algorithms your data should be clear and concise it should be understandable okay so again th there are four characteristics that you should follow when it comes to defining your data it should be atomic it should be traceable it should be accurate and clear and concise okay so uh, in a data definition, we also have this data object. So when it comes to programming, we will be dealing with objects, with the data objects, okay? So the data object represents an object having a data. So when you start coding later on, um, you, you will be dealing with the different, uh, with, with these objects. So you, you might have having hard understanding right now, but on, on when, when you do it, uh, soon, uh, no, no, maybe after this presentation, then Amway activity, then you will be able to deal with data object and what object is all about. And also, I'll, I'll give you some example later on. Okay, so so that's it for the data object. And next is the data type. I believe you have a, another um, course or another subject for the for your programming, no, and. Uh, the data type is uh, is uh, explained there much in detail. So as for this subject, a data type is actually is a way to classify various types of data, such as integer, string. If you already have an idea, what are those data types? It just determines the values that can be used the corresponding type of the data. Okay, the type of operations that can be performed on the corresponding type of data. So there are different two data types. Um, please watch the video that I'm going to um, link down below to explain more about the data type. Okay. So there are two types. There are two data types. Type of a data type. Sorry about that. It's a built-in and derived data type. So when we say built-in, it is built-in. It is the language itself support these data types. Okay, so the most common um, built in data types is we have integers, of course, um, these are whole numbers and uh, a number that is not a fraction. We also have boolean, the boolean is one or zero, true or false, and then floating, these are the decimal numbers, character and strings. So there's a lot more, but these are uh, the basic built in, okay. So um, again, we have this built-in data type, integers, boolean, floating, character, and string. So in this video, I will not be explaining um, in detailed examples about integers, boolean, floating, character, and strings, because I'm going to give you another video for that, okay? So just remember, these are the built-in data type. So all you have just to do is to use this kind of data types. You don't have to actually create it you no know, you don't have to create its function because the method itself is, is in there all you have just to do is to use it then assign a value to it 
Next is we have derived data type. When we say derived data type, these are implementation independent, as they can be implemented in one or the other way or the other way. So these data types are normally built by the combination of primary and built-in data types and associated operations on them. Okay, so very important that you should um, that these data types are normally built with a combination, a combination of primary and built-in data types. So we have these examples. We have lists, which we're going to look more on detailed in the next chapters. We also have array, stack, and queue. Okay, so we will be of course dealing with those things. What is a list? What is an array? What is stack? What is queue? So this were derived. Okay. Again, it's a, it's a combination of the primary and the built-in types and operations. So that is a data type. So what are the different basic operations? The data in the data structures are processed by certain operations. So of course, if there's no operations about the data, then there's, there's so the particular data structures chosen largely depends on the frequency of the operation that needs to be performed on a data structure. We have these different basic operations traversing. Um, traversing means something like moving from, uh, from this to another or uh, crossing from this place to another place, something like that. But we're going to explain further more in, in, the, in the next um, video. We also have searching, of course, when you search an item, it's, it's itself understandable. Insertion, when you insert. Deletion, when you delete, when you remove something, when you remove an item. Sorting, of course, when you sort, when you sort, sort an item. Merging, and when you merge in, in items or item, okay? So those were the basic uh, operations. You might not get how it works right now because we don't have we don't start the coding yet. But later on, you will understand how to traverse, how to search, how to insert, delete, sort, and then merge. So just um, um, be familiar yourself with the basic operations when it comes to the data structures and algorithm. Okay. So that's all for this video. What we have tackled is just. Um, Wait. is the basic it's it's the basic concept when it comes to data structure so again um bear in mind that in, in a data structure you should must you should have defined your data okay there are again the three characteristics of data and also you will be dealing with the data object and that data object has data types and data types has these two categories, which is the built-in and then derived. And of course, those built-in and those data types should be operated. And we have this basic operations. So basically, that was what we're going to do for this subject. Okay, we're going to define our data, we create objects, we define data, data types, and we operate. And uh, what are those different operations? As what I have said, we could traverse, search, insert, delete, update, sort, and merging. Uh, I think uh, the updating is not in here, okay? But yeah, let me add that one, updating. Maybe in here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's all. So See you on the next video, guys, and have a great day. God bless you guys, and thank you so much for watching.